a lot of men who say one thing and do the other thing. Who promise you the world while they rob the bread off your plate. Listen, I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. I, I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess, the way I see it, we still here. And he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him. Because, well, he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that. But listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Hi, Javier. Hi, Arthur. Just put the knife away. You ain't impressing no one. I ain't the problem here, Morgan. Or slip and do us all a favor. You think you're real funny, don't you? Yo, Keep. Conversations, Arthur. I really will. I won't. Mm. No, you got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain. And you use yours. Oh, you want to die? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. How are you? Seems he's picked his side. Are there sides now? Seems that way. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Karen? Arthur Morgan. Why are you doing this to yourself? You ain't looking too fine, neither. <sighs> okay, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. You're a snake. Sticks and stones. <laughs> I'm watching you. What are you trying to do here? Ah, oh, shut your mouth. You think you're so clever, don't you? Keep this up, you'll see. I see straight through you, Micah. Why are you so threatened by me? You might have Dutch fooled, but not me. You're playing a dangerous game. You're a snake. Think you're such a big man. Hey. Hi. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. 
Hey, that's why we're all here. Okay. I thought I told you to go away. You did. But you haven't. Why would I listen to you? You're a hermit. I am not a hermit. I'm the king. The king! Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he, he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Okay, fella. So, this Colonel Fate, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rains Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. 
Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Let's go, boy. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. 
You can both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. City. Seek redemption all. It's never too late. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep moving, sir. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Come on, pal. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. You worthless son of a bitch! Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Come on, boy. Get up. Fish hooked your eye, didn't she? <laughs> Look her or not, that's just sad. What the hell do you say? Come on, then, ladies. You ain't nothing but worm feed. <laughs> So... So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? 
No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. Finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Let's go, Arthur. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. The detonator's by me, here! My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we... Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier!
There's a lot of them. It's the army! It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. What? It's your goddamn mouth. All of you! Take what you can! And then we move out! Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly. Then we move. Christ, why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Damn, they're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. We got a chance. Shit. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. There's a way out through here. That's it for you. You're not 
somewhere. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Oh. Um, I is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. We've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. <clears throat> Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Here. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Start lowering it, Arthur! Nice and easy! Got it! All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff! Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Let's get it all set up. Come on.
come on! Shit. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! You're ready to jump! Let's go! This ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Somebody's talking. I can feel it. Who do you think it is? I got no idea. You? 
want me? No. It's not me. I'm loyal and you know it. I don't know. I think maybe Marston. You think so? Well, it's the only thing that makes sense. Well, that don't make much sense either. You still got your head up your ass, Morgan? Probably. Because all I'm hearing is shit. Real funny. Oh. Hi, Arthur. Marston ain't a rat. How many years you known him? Why did they take so long to hang him? What has happened to you? What's wrong with all of you? Huh? Come on! Come on, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Where's your trust? Huh? Where, 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 where's your faith? I got a son, Mr. Escuela. I want him to live. It's by staying together that we live. Come on! Yep. God damn the lot of you. We're all still here, Javier. Yeah, only because you want your money. If money was the only reason, I'd be long gone. Hey, Abigail. Hi there. Hey, Uncle. Uh-huh. 